Ah, they're still midging. Hey, this is Phil Lilly and Victor. We're gonna do one cast today. Lilly's Landing Resort and Marina on Lake Tanicomo. Today is Friday the 23rd, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a real nice day. It's uh, cloudy right now, but it's been sunny most of the day. The wind's out of the south, running a half unit of water. And fishing's been very good today for almost everybody. Not quite everybody, but it's been good. They've been drifting out front here with the pink worm. It's a Berkeley power worm, scented. I've got it under a float about six feet, two pound line. I think that's what he's got on too. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna throw it up here. Oh man, that's way too far up there. Here, you can throw it out straight out. I threw it out here a minute ago and got a bite. And there he is. The guides have been going, just drifting up and down and up and down, back and forth out here catching fish all day long on, on this pink worm. So I was pretty confident I'd catch one. And he's fat. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. These hooks are a little bit hard to get the worm out. Did you bite? Uh, I don't think so. They just pull it under, usually. Okay, I'm going to have to take the worm off. There's a minnow. They've been, oh, I dropped my worm. They've been uh, fishing with minnows, too. A lot of minnows today. Minnows and um, um, guys just said they came in and just caught a lot of fish on a eighth ounce olive jig. Eighth ounce is a little unusual that heavy a jig with this little water running, but it works. That braid, I've got braid on these and until you throw that braid two or three times and get it off the reel, it doesn't throw very good. I'll put this back on. Take a little bit off. Now my hands are kind of slick. Dwayne, go fishing? Yep. Couple buddies out. We'll find out how he did. I'll tell you tomorrow. Watch it, watch the rod, watch the rod. We got the new dock connected today. So that's exciting. They put the roof on next week if it doesn't rain them out. Yeah. <laughs> we are supposed to get some rain. Uh, somebody asked yesterday about speculation and what fishing's gonna be like. It really depends on how much rain we get and what they do with the water. Uh, we've only got five feet to go between 9.15 and 9.20. 9.20 in Table Rock is when they will run some floodgates. Um, actually, a little bit of floodgates is not a bad thing. I like floodgates. Uh, you get shad in the water, it warms the water up a little bit. Fish get really, really active. Uh, some people don't like to boat uh, when the water is that fast or high. It's not a whole lot faster than four units, but four units is pretty fast. So we'll see. We're not super busy next week. They're predicting four to six inches of rain in the basin. I guess that was the only one out there. Yep. Pull one more time.
and that model it's been changing about twice a day it, it'll move away from us a little bit and then it'll get closer so we're still three two or three four days out before it starts raining so things can really change and the model can be wrong <coughs> But it, they are supposed to get a lot more rain south of us, south and east, down in central to southeast Arkansas is where they're supposed to get the most rain. Yeah, I thought probably at least get another bite. There goes Steve. Every boat ran into some. Yeah, we've had all our boats out. Plus, we had to get one from Scotty's. All the guides are out this morning. Most of them are drifting right out here. Yeah, they just kind of take that float and just pull it under, kind of like a crappie does. Then you really don't set the hook as much as you do just lift the rod fast. Yeah, that's all I'm gonna do. Well, Finally caught a fish. Maybe we can string a few together before they start running water. Thanks for watching, we'll see you tomorrow.